on this police report we have so we can read his name and everything because he put himself in a position where uh, he's cooperating and telling a lot of different lies. So we may as well shine the light on the real root to the issue, which is which is this homie. You know what I mean? Check it out now. Holy. Now, the Montage Press Tour has started, people, okay? If you guys don't know, uh, you had the Prince family, pretty much J. Prince Jr., J. Prince himself, and Mike Prince. They appeared a million dollars worth of game where basically J. Prince pretty much gave it raw, okay? He said, yo, this would have not happened if Quavo's homie didn't literally jump the gun. Now, which homie is he talking about? We're talking about... Uh, Willie Bland, a.k.a. Migo Bands, someone who came to the party with Quavo. Essentially, Jay Prince is saying that Takeoff's death is as a result of his actions and nobody from Mob Ties, but it gets even worse, okay? According to Jay Prince, basically, uh, Willie Band, or Bland, okay, a.k.a. Migo Bands, is a snitch, okay? That's what he's saying. He said he's snitching on the Prince family and he ran back to Atlanta for protection and he wants to put the word out there that this dude is telling. By the way, he also put up the police support and I'm just gonna say this, people. All right? Um, this is a very interesting way to kind of handle the situation because there's an open police investigation going on, okay? This feels like a street possible political street move to try to get the narrative to change maybe perhaps in the favor of the prince family while the police are still looking to lock people up also here's the thing the person who didn't get locked up at least from what we heard which is willie bland aka nego bands okay basically that guy they're saying is the guy should get locked up which kind of almost goes into the whole self-defense thing that i told y'all that the shooter is probably going to utilize the guy who they locked up patrick clark is gonna say hey self-defense i only really shot because i seen another person with a gun and he shot too so again whatever jay prince and their family is saying is going into the defense of the guy who actually got charged and essentially they said in this interview the person they even said directly they said the person who should have got hit was Quavo's mess. Now, here's the thing. Uh, the Migo bands do Quavo. People have said that's Quavo's brother. I'm wondering where Quavo sits on this whole issue. Not only did Takeoff lose his life, they're pretty much saying, hey, listen, well, we just got to chalk it up as if your man didn't do something, Takeoff would have died. That's a hard pill to swallow, okay? Because you have to think about accountability on all ends, and it seems like the Prince family is saying that... <clears throat> Quavo and the people that Quavo came with are the result of Take Off Dying. What do y'all think about this, man? In the comments, which you guys like to subscribe. Hey, this is so wild because um, watching Jay Prince kind of make this statement, okay? My man over here looking like Judge Mathis, you know what I mean, with that clean fade. I just don't know what's the point of this because I don't think the narrative about the Prince family will change immediately, even if they had nothing to do with it. It won't change. It only complicates stuff. And it feels like this is less about healing and more about trying to flush this guy out who they believe is cooperating, which leads me then to believe if you think this guy's cooperating, who is he going to implicate that you would care about, right? Because we saw a million dollar bond got posted for Patrick Clark, but they said it's from a concerned citizen. People can't figure out who had a million dollars in the in the tuck to bail this guy out. What's the angle here? I mean, I think we all could put two and two together, but Jesus, this is getting a little bit messy, people. All right? In the comments, which you guys like and subscribe to where I can